sake and mother heart you're gonna tell another lie And welcome to Start McCleary. Today we are going to talk about one, of, probably one of the more underrated drivers in the NASCAR series, and that is Greg Biffle. We're going to talk about his wins, talk about his stats, talk about how he climbed up into the Cup Series, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Biffle was born on December 23rd, 1969, in Vancouver, Washington, to Sally Fry and Garling Biffle. He also had a brother, Jeffrey Biffle. Biffle began racing on short tracks in the Pacific Northwest during his teen years and young adulthood. He got well known driving in the Winter Heat Series in 1995 and 96, when winning and dominating the championship. And then later in 96, he made his first two Bush Series starts at Rockingham where he finished 23rd and at Homestead where he finished 36th. In 1997, Biffle went back down to the North NASCAR Northwest Series and won the Most Popular Driver Award. And then finally, after the success in the lower series, Biffle finally won a full-time ride in the truck in the Craftsman Truck Series, driving the number 50 Granger Ford. Even though he was winless in his first year, he had eight top fives, 12 top tens, and finished eighth in points. In 1999, Biffle had his breakout year in the truck series, winning his first race in Memphis, and he would go on to win eight more races at eight different tracks, and also having 14 top fives, 19 top tens, and finished second in points to Jack Sprague. Then in 2000, Biffle won five races, 18 top fives, 18 top tens, and won the Craftsman Truck Series Championship. After his great success in the truck series, Biffle got promoted to the Bush Series full-time in 2001, winning his first race in Nashville. He would go on to win four more races, 16 top fives, 21 top tens, and finish fourth in points. In 2002, Biffle was in the Bush Series again, winning four races, 20 top fives, 21 top 25 top 10, sorry, and dominated the points that season and winning the Bush Championship. He also made seven cup starts, which was his first, he made his cup debut at the California Speedway, where he had his best finish of 13th that year. Then in 2003, Biffle got promoted to the Cup Series, driving the number 16 Ford, and won his first race at Daytona on the Pepsi 400. Even though he only had three top fives and six top tens, and he finished 20th in points. And then in 2004, he got a new sponsor, National Guard. And then that year, he won two races, four top fives, eight top tens, and finished 17th in points. In 2005, Biffle had his best year in the Cup Series winning at six races at six different tracks, and also having 15 top fives, 21 top tens, and finishing second in points to Tony Stewart. 2006 was more of an up and down year for Biffle, winning two races, eight top fives, 15 top tens, but only finishing 13th in points. 2007 was more of the same. His only win came at Kansas and only had five top fives, 11 top tens, and finished 14th in points. In 2008, Biffle was more consistent than the previous two years, winning two races, 12 top fives, 17 top tens, and finishing third in points. However, in 2009, Biffle was winless for the first time since part since part time in 2002, but had 10 top fives and 16 top tens and finished seventh in points. In 2010, Biffle would get two more wins, nine top fives, 19 top tens, and finished sixth in points. 
However, in 2011, Biffle kind of struggled. With being winless, only having three top fives, ten top tens, and finishing 16th in points. However, in 2012, he turned it around. With two wins, 12 top fives, 21 top tens, and finishing 5th in the points. And then 2013, Biffle struggled to adapt to the Gen 5 to the Gen 6 car. And he won his final race at his career at Michigan. And only had 4 top, four top fives, 13 top tens. But finished ninth in points. This would be, this would mark the beginning of the end for Biffle, as he would be winless and struggle for the rest of his career. In 2014, Biffle was winless, but he did make the pay playoffs, but easily got eliminated in the first round, only having three top fives, eleven top tens, and finished 14th in points. And to make matters worse, his Biffle's main sponsor, 3M, left him and went to Hendrick Motorsports. And then in 2015, he got a new sponsor, Ortheo Bugby, gone. And the only good thing that happened in 2015 is that he did not have a DNF all year. But other than that, was the only good thing. But other than that, he would only earn three top fives, all due to fuel mileage, four top tens, and finish 20th. And points. In his last year in the Cup Series in 2016, Biffle struggled all year with seven DNFs, only one top five, three top tens, lacked major sponsorship for most of the year due to the sport's decline, and finished 23rd in points. Now his retirement. After lacking major sponsors, struggling the last few, few years, and even the sports rule changes that make the situation even worse, had Biffle to retire after the 2016 season along with Carl Edwards. And as of today, he currently does not have a ride, and he is currently an analyst for NASCAR America. And he also enjoys life with his daughter and doing many more activities outside of racing. So Greg Biffle's cup stats are this, 510 starts, 19 wins, 92 top fives, 175 top tens, 13 polls, over $80 million in winnings, and what I present to you, the Biff, Greg Biffle. That's all I have for you guys today, I'll see you next time.